Wat Temple, also commonly known as Ongko Toy Temple or Small Ongko Temple, is the name of one of the most magnificent temples in Cambodia that has attracted many foreigners from abroad. The Golden Angarian period, which lasts for centuries between 802 and 1431 AD, allowed the Angarian civilization to flourish and to contribute an ancient breathtaking legacy for future generations. Even if the tourists are not researchers in archaeology, architect, or art, as an ordinary tourist, stepping into this magnificent former Hindu monument, they will undoubtedly and immediately be amazed by the structure of this temple. Various questions would rise about the building technique and the construction process such as how the stone lift, carry, and curve. In addition, for tourists who are interested in taking picture of Angkor Wat, this is definitely a place that has endless beauty from dawn to dusk, from dry season to rainy season, and from clear sky to cloudy sky. Even inside the temple, it is a place where many images can be taken according to their respective technique and art style of Taurus. The temple can also be said to be center of knowledge that allows scholars to learn more about many aspects of sculpture, myth, construction technique, and color usage for decoration. According to a document published by researcher for many decades and document used in the education curriculum of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport of the Kingdom of Cambodia, the Angkor Wat Temple was the work of an ancient Khmer king by the name of Soryat Waraman II. In the 12th century, his reign spanned between 11 and 13 AD and 11 and 50 AD. Historically speaking, King Soryat Waraman II was Brahmin who worshipped Vishnu. Therefore, he built the temple of Angkor Wat, a main royal temple during his reign, with the original name as Vishnu Loka, the name Baroma Vishnu Loka, which is the posthumous name of the founding king, who also inscribed on this stone temple. The overall attraction here is not only because of the natural environment and the size of such a large structure, but if we were to look and observe all the fancy sculpture from the bottom to the top, we will surely appreciate the hard work of the architect and artist. Ancient people tried their hardest to skillfully build and carve the stone to decorate the temple. This sculpture was demonstrating all of the flower fairy or apsara, angel, human, and animal in everyday life. Moreover, there are numerous mythical art curved on nearly every place of the temple, such as the wall, vertical pillar, lintel, and gable. At the same time, walking around the gallery would allow tourists to see sculpture relate to various myths, such as Mahapirata, Ramayana, churning of the ocean of milk, as well as common belief related to heaven and hell. Furthermore, the sculpture also show the military drill and parade from ancient time. The central gallery, also known as the second floor, has only a few marks that can be inferred as a place where artists did not have enough time to decorate and curve. On another hand, Bakan, also known as the upper floor, has both sides of its outer wall ornated with many curving of fairy or apsara in high quality craftsmanship. Both the Prehpan and Bakan Gallery are believed to be sacred places and are worshipped by both local and international tourists. 